Good afternoon, Broadly BLT. Uh, on behalf of Dr. Betty Lovelace, Coach Nate Sally, Coach Antonio Smith, uh, we did want to provide you with some information uh, regarding the work that we would have done today had it not been for the calamity of the water main break. So uh, even though we know that uh, things do happen, things come up, um, we still try to find some ways to work around and still remain engaged and remain connected because we feel like we're on a really good path with you all and want to keep this work going. Really want to see us kind of lean into this work a little bit. And the, the general idea of the session today with the BLT was going to really frame out how we wanted the BLT to be this the, the, the support and that work of leaders, so to speak, of being in a very supportive fashion and making sure that we have the BLT buy-in uh, as we really roll out this process for the all staff um, as, it, as it relates to the core values. And all of this will make sense as we, as we go through this uh, information today, but that's kind of what we wanted to, to lean into as, as we were gonna go through this session today. So we kind of wanted to shoot just a quick video, um, uh, bring this information Information to you, uh, give you an opportunity at the at the end. Um, we've got all of our contact information in there. Uh, you can send us emails um, uh, if you have questions regarding this. Also, have a little bit of a, a text piece for you uh, that to make sure that we are all uh, on the same page and, and hearing the information appropriately and accordingly. So as we look at uh, what we were going to talk about today, kind of the purpose of the BLT, the overview of the vision, uh, VAE, vision, alignment, and execution. That's really the, the meat of what we were going to talk about with the BLT and truly focusing on that alignment piece, really looking at how we can utilize the, the BLT um, group, that work of leaders to help support this process that we're going to roll out uh, with the all staff coming up on March 7th. Really this idea of the vision for the BLT, uh, how, how's the BLT fashioned now versus how you want the BLT to be fashioned going forward? And when we say going forward, really kind of looking at the remainder of this year, but really looking into next year, the understanding what, what is it that we want to see? How do we want this BLT to be uh, formulated and, and framed out so that we can truly get the most functionality out of our BLT? And so we, we, we provided some sample vision statements uh, um, to Ms. Ivy Spears, and uh, we really wanted you to see sort of what that could embody when it comes to your BLT, but really it incorporates your vision, your mission, and your core values. And when you think about these core values, we know that Broadly has, has already established four core values, and we're really going to be leaning on these core values, especially, again, going through this, this process of alignment, this VAE model, vision, alignment, and execution, but really targeting and being intentional about this alignment piece and we're going to align around these core values. These core values that you all have, have taken time to establish and, and uh, made some nice posters. I was able to, to, to see those posters um, in, in Mrs. Ivy Spears' office and uh, really get some, um, uh, uh, wrap my brain around what those core values mean to the Broadly Elementary staff. And so we started thinking about this idea of process, right? This idea of what this BLT could really do as a support function when it comes to making these core values truly come to life, making these core values truly established and rooted and anchored in the Broadly school community. So we, 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 we thought about how we could structure, how we could in, integrate both the BLT and the all staff within a process. And so what we came up with was this fishbone model. And in this model, and I'll make this full screen so you can see, uh, in this model, really what we're looking at are the remainder of the session. So we've already gone through session one and looking at session two, this idea of commitment, where, where do we gain that buy-in? And that's why we really wanted to, to shoot this video for you all, because we're, we need that, uh, that, that, that buy-in from the BLT, because we're going to be asking you all to be those champions throughout the school, uh, uh, throughout the school um, uh, community and within the school as well, and even on your BLT and making sure that you have the opportunity to get that established. And really looking at how we can utilize this, this process to truly make those core values come to life. 
So within this process, what we're going to do is look at session two is commitment again and, and, and how we can truly gain that buy-in. And again, this is where the BLT is going to be vital for us uh, to help gain that buy-in throughout the rest of the staff. Session three is going to be that participation. That's really where we're going to uh, break out the teams and, and really look at how each of these core values can be uh, um, uh, disseminated amongst the staff broken out according to uh, disc profile. So what we try to do is look at each of the disc profiles and really be intentional about assigning each staff member to one of the core values. And we even did that for you as well. So you will have the opportunity to be those champions initially as we look as this process continues to unfold. And then into session four, that's our support. So what are some other things that we're going to need? So once we get this idea uh, of, of this commitment and buy-in, we get our teams assigned, we start looking at this, this, uh, this key of support and understanding in this fourth key of support, how and what is it that we're going to need to truly accomplish what we want to accomplish within that team that's assigned to that particular core value. Session five is about accountability. And sometimes accountability comes, comes across as, as uh, not necessarily the most uh, endearing kind of words, but it, with accountability, it's a shared accountability. And if we have structured this process appropriately and we've gained your buy-in and we've got you championing the process with us uh, as, as, as support staff, then we will have this idea of shared accountability when we get to that fifth session. And then that sixth session, uh, providing that we don't have any water main breaks all the way in between when we get to that six, and this is all staff, right? So I'm um, sorry if I didn't say it in the beginning, this is, this, these sessions are for all staff. We know we have certain BLT sessions kind of scheduled in between there, but these six sessions are specifically geared toward all staff sessions. And we will have uh, different opportunities to engage with you specifically as a BLT in between each of these sessions. So that sixth session will be on sustainability, how we're able to sustain and maintain the momentum, the drive, the passion, the push, uh, uh, the, 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 the idea of how we can really sustain this, not only for the rest of the year, but as a springboard and a catapult into the next school year as well, really predicated around those core values again, and what that can look like for us. So when we're talking about the core values, right, when we're talking about how and what this looks like and understanding that uh, uh, each of you as BLT members, we took the liberty of assigning you. And again, we looked at your disc profiles. And what we also looked at were the behaviors of each of the four core values. And so we started to ascribe behaviors to each of the core values. And we wanted to be very intentional about how we aligned each of you around this particular core value that you see on the screen. So for my, for my collaborate and support each other, we would have the, the uh, Deborah, Robbie, and Marissa being the champions for that core value. Be respectful to students and staff will be Emily, Elaine, and, and, and uh, Lisa being our champions for that core value. Uh, be open to new ideas and instructional practices that are beneficial for students. That'll be Yvonne, Jennifer, and Shantae. Uh, Miss Ivy Spears will also be integrated into that. Uh, and then treat people the way you want to be treated. We'll have Taylor and Jocelyn assigned to that particular core value. So uh, what we hope is that each of you uh, are, are, are begin to embody this idea of the work of leaders, this idea of vision, alignment, and execution based on your supportive role of being on this BLT for Broadly Elementary. So as we look at uh, each, of the, um, each of the core values and, and what they espouse and what they mean, uh, and then we want to start to look at what they can mean and how they can behave and how they can truly come to life. And, you know, we say that not not jokingly, but really how you can tell how you can tell how these core values are, are coming to life and living and truly being exemplified throughout the school. So this is uh, sort of just an overview uh, of what we just talked about, kind of showing you uh, visually um, how that plays out. So the whole staff will be assigned to one of the four core values. And then once, the, uh, once those core values are established within the staff, then we'll have the opportunity to break them out the same way we broke each of you out. And each of you are going to be these BLT champions that you see here that are gonna be associated with that particular core value that we assign to you. So as those core values begin to uh, uh, 
become more realized and become more targeted, become more ingrained and integrated into the school community and the school culture as a whole. What we hope and where we're leaning and where we're going to is this idea of truly making those core values come to life for you. And when we think about the, those two fundamental questions that we asked in the, in the beginning of the first session back in February, what do we value and how do you know? And that is the true embodiment of your culture. That's the true embodiment of, 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 of what we value and how we know because we already have these core values established. So when we think back to this process here, I'm gonna take you back one more time to the fishbone and you think back to how we have established. So again, we've already had session one, session two, all staff is coming up on uh, uh, March 7th. And then we're just gonna work our way right through with the all staff using you all as those support functions and being those champions of each of those four core values that you've been assigned to. And then this, this last sort of third fundamental question, what does commitment to your core value look like? And we want you that just to hang there. We don't necessarily want you to answer that right now, but we really want that to hang there because that's really going to be one of those fundamental questions that we continue to come back to with you as the, as the BLT. So what we really wanna do is uh, take a look at sort of where, where we've been even in this quick video, right? So now that you've completed this video, uh, we're gonna ask you to take some action. This is that commitment piece. We're gonna ask you to take some action. Uh, we want you to get your cell phone and type in the number 614-502-2992 and type in the word BLT and text that word to that number. Text that word to that number. And once you've texted that word to that number, texted BLT to that number, you're going to get a, a response. And once you get that response, that's going to prompt you to take one more action for us. So we're, we're truly looking at that demonstrated commitment, truly looking for your buy-in and, and, and your support and you being a champion for this process as it continues to unfold. And again, obviously, we know this isn't the most ideal delivery. Uh, obviously, when you're going through a video, you, you think you talked about some things. Maybe we didn't. So if we missed anything at all, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out at any point in time. Um, uh, I did put my cell phone number on there. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to the other coaches to, to integrate theirs as, as we go through this process. But, you know, that's my cell phone number. Um, there's our, all of our email addresses. At any point in time, please feel free to reach out to us. Don't ever hesitate to reach out. Uh, let us know if you have questions regarding this process. Um, we're also going to send some uh, follow-up information uh, via text. We're also going to send some information via email um, so that you'll have an opportunity to at least be as clear as possible coming into that March 7th session with the all staff. So we hope this was uh, somewhat beneficial. Again, not the most ideal of situations, but we try to make it work as best we can. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. So be well, and uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you soon. And again, on behalf of Dr. Betty Lovelace, Coach Antonio Smith, Coach Nate Sally, we will see you on March 7th. Thank you so much.